I was driving the other day and I saw a dead cat on the road. That's like loving that dead cat. Like it was a dead cat. It's going to turn to dust any moment now. It's getting eaten up. It's, rot, it's rotting. It's on its way out. Why would you pick up that cat and snuggle it? Why would you pick up that cat and try to give it catnip or whiskers? Right? It's not going to purr. <laughs> it's, a, it's a dead cat. And the world is like a dead cat. Don't pick it up and snuggle it. See it for what it is. Smell it for what it is. It's rotten. It's stinking. And do your best to keep your hands clean. Yo, Elliot. Yo, Elliot, I have a few questions for you today. Number one, I've been looking into the what's going on around us and have recently learned that Trump and all these so-called whistleblowers are controlled opposition. This makes me think that we are fucked and because the Zionists reside in Israel and Trump was already propping them up. I was told we are here as light workers. Not all of us believe, not all of us, but I believe I may be one. However, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do. These thoughts do take a big toll on me and it's scary AF. Let me know your thoughts. So, you might be right. That might be true. He may be controlled opposition and he is a Zionist. I mean, his, his behavior represents that. Um, you know, I used to listen to this girl's videos on YouTube. She hasn't made very many uh, uh, lately called uh, probably Alexandra. And she was the first one to show me this idea that there is a there's there's a light faction and a dark faction, but they're both wings of the same bird. They're both evil. She says it's not what we're watching have, uh, play out in the political sphere is not good versus evil. It's bad versus evil. <laughs> right. It's bad versus evil. And that, you know, Donald Trump represents the quote unquote light faction, which is bad, but it's opposition, like you say, controlled opposition to the evil and the best way to deal with that when you recognize that you're being played right it's like we're watching a ping pong game and rather than standing there and watching the ball go back and forth with the ping pong and like you know maybe rooting for one or hating the other or watching this ping pong go back and forth is to step away from the game completely and the way you step away from the game completely is to not make the lords of this world, i.e. presidents and leaders and things of that nature, your Lord, but turn to God, turn to God, the father and recognize that he's, he is the game maker. He's above and beyond all of this and that it is of our best interest to remain detached. So when you ask about being a light worker, think of it this way. When you say light, don't think of it as like light, like the sun or light, like a, like a light bulb. Think of it as you're so light that you float above it, that you rise above it, right? You're a light worker. They're heavy workers. You know, Donald Trump and Joe Biden, they're, they're heavy workers. They're heavyweights battling it out. What we're watching is the physical representation of a spiritual battle that's being played out in front of us, either as a distraction, more than likely, or a, you know, it's, it's a distraction. That's really what it is, it's a distraction. And that if you're a light worker, you don't get caught up in the heaviness of it. We got to rise up. Being able to see it and... Acknowledge it for what it is, is cool. Like, I acknowledge, you know what? I can't not vote for Donald Trump because he's pro-life. And I like the guy's attitude. These are just things that I enjoy about the guy. So I have a preference. I lean towards that which, rather than evil, is bad. But because he's not that bad compared to the evil. And I just give my two, there are lots of really cool things that he does. But namely, he's against baby killing. 
and I can't, you cannot call yourself a Catholic Christian. You cannot call yourself a religious man or woman, no matter what faith you have. If you, unless you, you know, unless you're, unless you are satanic, which a lot of these people are, if you love baby killing, a lot of these people, this, you know, the whole baby killing thing comes from fallen angels that, that perpetuated false religion, you know, like the Canaanites and they, they would uh, worship a God named Baal and they would, in the Bible, it says, you know, burn your baby at the altar. They would burn their baby, would submit their baby to the fire. They were doing child sacrifice. And in a lot of ways, uh, abortion is a form of child sacrifice. And a lot of these, the rulers of our world are Satanist. And they, they recognize that that blood shed is, in many ways, honors their gods. So you got to rise up. You got to be light. You got to be light, light, light up, light up out of it. Light. So, you know, Donald Trump lost, right? At least that's what the world tells us, right? Donald Trump lost. I believe that that they cheated. I truly believe they cheated. Not that I need to believe, but there's so much evidence. There's so much evidence there that the election was stolen. But what can I do? What am I supposed to do? All I can do is watch, observe, be detached, and save my soul. It's really all that really matters. There's a really good video uh, by Census Fidelium on YouTube. I don't remember the name of the video, but it's something to the effect of the most important thing in life is the salvation of your soul. The most important thing in, the, in this life is the salvation of your soul. So the sanctity of your own soul matters more than basically anything else we're talking about, right? Controlled opposition, ideological subversion, demoralization, Zionism, all these things, you know? If you, you say that, you know, these thoughts are scary to you, they take a big toll on you, but you got to detach, you got to detach, you got to detach. Even, yeah, you got to detach. You can't be attached. You can't be wrapped up and you can't make your life dependent on these going ons. It's just a show. It's entertainment in a lot of ways. It's just a show. It's entertainment. It's if it's it's mortal. It's dust. It's dying. This is a dying world. That's one of the things. We cannot put our trust and our love in a dying world. That's like that's like somebody who I was driving the other day and I saw a dead cat on the road. That's like loving that dead cat. Like, oh, it was a dead cat. It's going to turn to dust any moment now. It's getting eaten up. It's, rot it's rotting. It's on its way out. Why would you pick up that cat and snuggle it? Why would you pick up that cat and try to give it catnip or whiskers? Right? It's not going to purr. <laughs> it's, a, it's a dead cat. And the world is like a dead cat. Don't pick it up and snuggle it. See it for what it is, smell it for what it is, it's rotten, it's stinking, and do your best to keep your hands clean. <laughs> right? So you don't get no cat cat scratch disease. Yo, it's your bro Elliot Hulse here. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from one of my most recent sessions with my King Transformation students, where among other things, we get together about four or five hours a week and speak on things related to becoming kings in our lives, in fitness, business, and with women. If you're interested in joining a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day in every way in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram, and then DM me the word king, K-I-N-G. And then me and my team, will get back to the details and see if you qualify. I hope to see you at our next session. Done.